guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. This video is going to be about my first impressions of the Flashbang holster. And I say first impressions because the one that I got is not working for me and I'm going to get another one in the future. I'll tell you all about that. Um, but I just wanted to let you know some of the issues that I was having with the one that I just got in case you're considering buying one for yourself. And if you are uh, in my situation and you're on the smaller side, um, this might be helpful for you in determining if the flashbang holster is going to work for you or not. All right, so let's just get down to this. This actually is going to be a kind of awkward video for me, so just bear with me. Um, I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to do this. We're just winging it. And I also want to put out there that I'm not necessarily trying to find, um, a new best amazing holster for myself. I actually am quite happy with the holsters that I have, but I really do like uh, doing these reviews and getting new holsters and trying them out and making these videos for you guys. I'm really hoping that by me doing this and showing you how these holsters work and how they look on, that it will be helpful to someone out there. So anyway, here's the flashbang holster that I got. I ordered it in white. I didn't want the black one. I wanted a white one because I wear a lot of white shirts and I thought maybe the black would stand out too much. So I got it in white and I got it for my Glock 43, which was my mistake. Um, I really should have waited until I get a smaller gun to try this out because I think this is just way too big for a person like me. But on the other hand, I'm kind of glad that I did get the larger one just so I can show you guys how it looks on a smaller person with a larger gun. I'm pretty sure that this would work really well with the SIG P238. Um, so if I ever do get that gun, I'm going to get this in that size and try it out. I'll do a, another review with that one. Uh, I could have got this with my Ruger LCP. But I don't carry that gun anymore. I've had too many jamming issues with that gun and I just don't feel confident in carrying it. I'm scared, you know, if I had to pull it out and use it that it's going to jam on me. So I don't even use it. So I just didn't see the point in trying this out with that gun even though that is much smaller than the Glock and I think it would have concealed just fine. So here's my Glock. I just want to show you that this gun is not loaded. So here's how you put the gun in and it's kind of awkward. But you take the butt of the gun here and you slip it in the wider part right here and it seals shut like that. It's like a clamshell. So that's how it looks on. So then what you would do is you would just kind of tuck it up underneath your bra and your bra actually will like hold this in place and then you take these straps and you wrap the straps around um, you know this part of your bra. And then you clip it in place like that. So there we go. So this attaches to your bra and holds it like this. All right, so I just put it on and I wanna tell you about some of the issues that I have with this one in particular. Um, the very first thing I notice off the bat besides looks wise is the um, handle of the gun or the grip of the gun actually pokes me right in the, um, what is it called? The solar plexus. And if any of you have ever been punched or pushed or anything in this, you know, general area, you know what it feels like. It, it doesn't feel good at all. It's incredibly uncomfortable to have that pushing in on that area. I think maybe the smaller gun wouldn't sit where this one is sitting. Maybe it would, I don't know, sit in a better place. I won't know until I try it out. But this gun in particular does not sit in a good place for me. If there's any padding in here and then you slip the gun up underneath there, the padding and the gun makes the bra stick out like this. And then, ladies, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, you'll have this big gap in between where your boob is and where the bra sticks out. Um, on me, it was quite a big gap. So like you could look down there and you could like, you know, put your wallet in there, put your phone in there. There was a, a big gap and then having my shirt on over top of that you would see it from the side that you know there was a big difference from where my bra was and where my chest was that did not look good at all so then i put it on with uh bras that had no padding in them at all and the problem with that is is that the middle part here 
actually sticks out a little bit further than my actual boobs do and where that little um, clip or the little snap thing is sticks out and it makes it look like I have three boobs. So I don't know if this will show up very well on camera, but I'll try to show you and I'll show you from the side. Also from the side, I feel like um, it makes my boobs look like they're like shoved down. Um, they're not like high <laughs> where I would typically want them. It kind of looks like they're, you know, down here a little lower and I don't like that either. So, all right, just to show you, I do have it on. You can see the gun right there. I'm not going to show you my bra because that is just weird. So anyway, like I was saying, this piece here like pokes me right here and I don't like that part. And that snap is right here. Let me see if this shows up or not. Um, but I gotta say this is really weird shoving my boobs in the camera and I hope this does not offend anyone, but I'm really trying to help small chested girls out. So bear with me. So let me see. There's the snap. There, can you see that? Can you see that there's like this bump right there that sticks out further than my own boobs do? And uh, you probably don't know where my boobs normally sit, but they normally do sit a little bit higher than this. So this definitely does drag the bra down and um, just make them look a little bit more uh, deflated, I guess is the right word I'm looking for. And the last thing I want to talk about is how difficult this thing can be to draw. I don't know if the one that I got in particular is uh, just a bit too tight. Maybe it loosens up over time if you're practicing drawing it. But I feel like it takes a lot of force to pull this gun out. It doesn't pop out as easy as it does in a lot of the videos that I saw. So I don't know if it's just mine or if, like I said, it just needs to loosen up. Um, I also had an issue with this popping out from under my bra if I bend over. So if I like bend over to touch my toes or grab something off the floor, this would flip out. There's just not a lot up here to uh, help hold it in for me. So um, yeah, it just kind of slipped out. It doesn't fall out if I'm walking um, and just doing normal activities. But yeah, when I bend over, it pops right out. All right, guys, so that is basically my first impressions of the Flashbang holster. I do want to say that I do think it is a pretty good holster. Um, if I were larger or my gun were smaller, I think it would work out well for me. Um, I know a lot of women love this holster. I have been reading so many reviews this week. It's crazy. I also think it's priced well. I think mine was $45, which is not bad at all for a Kydex holster. It shipped incredibly fast. I think I ordered it on Thursday and it came in on Monday. So that was super fast. So those are my thoughts on this holster. If you guys have any experience with this one, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'd love to know. And I guess I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye. If any of y'all have any experience with a flashbang holster, let me know down below what your thoughts, thoughts, let me know what your thoughts are, thoughts, thoughts, oh, let me know down below what your thoughts are, thoughts.